Pre-Pump Kids, we're going to do a quick review from and one, and two, and three, up, down. Your feet are going to have right, left, left, right, right, left, up, down. Stay in the plie that whole time. Make sure you have da 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 straight and low, not a jump. You have to make sure it's a step step. Hands are and one, tilt two, up three, turn to the side, pose back down. Hands plus feet. Six, ready, it, and one, and two, and three, and four. Make sure you're going up all the way straight with your legs and with your arm. Coming back down. You're going to do two hits. Arm will go to a low knee. Your foot comes towards your hands. Don't let your arms bend. Five, goes out to the side. And you step forward. Six, let's put our hands behind our back for our pod ring. You step with your left foot. Seven, and eight. Get a good stomp and be low on that eight. From the ball changes. Five, six, ready, it's and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. From here, you are going to have your body twist up, and you're going to do your contractions. You're going to have arch, crunch, arch, crunch. We continue on. Up, hips, up, hips. Depending on what side of the room you're on, you are use your right or your left, you should know which ones. And back, and back, get a regular. And crunch, elbows go down, and down. When you're doing this, you end it in this low position. You pivot to the front of your first two. And one, and two. All the rest of these, you walk. And you're gonna walk towards the spot you start to do your push, pull, circle around in the beginning. So you might have to move to the right, you might have to move to the left, forward or back, but keep your belly forward. So you're gonna have and stay, and stay, and move, and move, and move, and move, and move, and you're there. Try to get to a sixth position on your very last one. From here, no matter who you are, which direction you went, you're going to step with your right foot, and you step low. Low, your hip goes out. You're going to step low with your left. Low. You want to try to have your hip going forward rather than your knee going to the back. You have a hip hop chasse over to the right. Chasse stays low. Continue to the left. Low, low, step, step, goes low. One more, right, left. Chasse goes to the right. You don't want your feet to go together. You don't want to make a big distance of space in between each step. With our arms, right foot goes out, right arm goes back. Fingers are flexed. Right, you're trying to get to a T, putting your left shoulder forward. You switch it. Left foot, right hand forward. On your chasse, your arms are going to drop down. They're going to continue the circle. Up, continue around, and go back down. Then we go to the left. Right hand forward. Left hand forward. Right hand forward. Up, right hand forward. Left hand forward. Right hand forward. Left, up, low. You're going to try to put your head in with it as well. Five, six. Ready, I can use my right step. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two more. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you can practice this in a hallway, it would be the easiest thing to do. And if you hit the sides, your arms are going front and back. They're going to the side. Keep in mind when we do this, more sets. You're going to be going through your line. So you might be going, move to the mirror, to the back, moving to the mirror, to the back, to the mirror, step, step to the back. Then we're going to pivot it around. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Unless you're in the other Then you're still going to use your right. And you're going to go to the back, back, front, circle, and look back, left, right. Circle and you're over. Then you're going to go to the back side. Two, three, and four, 